Now this first question then, we're asked to integrate from 1 to 8, 1 over root x with respect to x. So how do we do this? Well, first thing is we need to express this fraction 1 over the square root of x in the form x to the power n. And you should know that the square root of x can be represented in powers as x to the power a half. So we've got 1 over x to the power a half to be integrated with respect to x. Trouble is, x to the power half is on the bottom of the fraction here, and we need to bring this up to the top. And you should know this rule, that if you have 1 over x to the power n, this is identical to x to the power minus n. So therefore, if n is the half, then this can be written as x to the power minus a half. Okay, so what we need to do is change this integral into that format. So we got the integral from 1 to 8 of x to the power minus a half to be integrated with respect to x. Now, all we need to do now is to add 1 to the power when we integrate something like this and divide by the new power. So if we add 1 to minus a half, we're going to get x to the power a half, and we divide by the new power, so we divide by a half. Don't forget to put the square brackets in, and the limits go at the end here, going from 1 to 8. Now, if you're dividing by a half, that's the same as timesing by 2, so you've got 2x to the power a half. So put that in as 2 x to the power a half, and we clean that up, going from 1 to 8. Now we put the limits in, starting with 8, so we have 2 times 8 to the power a half, that's the square root of 8 in other words, and then we minus what we get when we put the 1 through, so we get minus 2 times the square root of 1. Now when it comes to the square root of 8, we need to simplify this. Okay, We get some clues actually from the question. It said express this in the form a plus b root 2. So we know that somehow root 2's got to be involved. Well, as I say, you should know that the square root of 8 okay, is exactly the same as doing the square root of 4 times 2. And by using the multiplication rule for thirds, this is the same as the root of 4 times the root of 2, and the square root of 4 is 2, so we end up with 2 root 2. So I can put that in here, and we get 2 times 2 root 2, which is going to be 4 root 2, and we know the square root of 1 is 1, so we just get minus 2 here. And as I say, if we've got to get this in the form a plus b root 2, then I've got to rearrange this to minus 2 plus 4 root 2. So as you can see, this is in the form a plus b root 2, where a and b are integers, a being minus 2 and the b being the 4. OK, so hopefully you can follow my working through there. And that brings us to the end of the first question.